Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 12 assignment of the course introduction to IoT 4.1 industrial IoT. So friends, uh, first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you who have been involved in this beautiful journey from week one to week 12. So keep supporting us like this forever guys. So keep subscribe us forever and also definitely like the video guys and then only our videos will appear in suggestions for other students also and they will also like get benefited like you and please share that with your classmates also within your whatsapp student groups so this is week 12 assignment guys last assignment of this course for this season so let's see the first question now i think almost all questions are 100 percent correct if there are any changes to be made and if it come to your notice then please uh, give your answer in the comment section guys so that we will try to sort it out but i think most of these are correct only so first question now what are the benefits of using iot in oil and gas industries so for first question the correct answer is option b guys save cost and time save cost and time so mark option b now let's move on to the second question. Second one. Which of the following statement does not does not represent the advantage of using IoT in the chemical industry? So for second question, the correct answer is option C guys. Maximize supply chain risks. Actually it should be minimize. But they have given maximize so it is the it does not represent the advantage right so let me erase this first and then the answer so option c is the correct answer guys now moving on to the third question third one what is the advantage of using iot in pharmaceutical industry so for third question, the correct answer is option A guys, real time monitoring, real time monitoring. So mark option A. Next, moving on to the fourth question now. Fourth one, which of the following can be performed through predictive maintenance? So for fourth question, the correct answer is option D, all of the above guys, all of the above. So let me erase this first. So option D, all of this is the correct answer. Now moving on to the fifth question. Fifth one, state true or false. So they have given a statement. So through the application of IOT in the pharmaceutical industry, it is possible to examine drugs and detect adverse drug reactions. So for fifth question, the correct answer is option A, true guys, true. So let me erase this. So the answer is option A, true guys. Now moving on to the sixth question. So before answering the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So this is regarding exam preparation MCQs for the course IOT 4.1 industrial IOT. So with nearly five years of experience in NPTEL, we are giving these solutions guys. So there are two packs, savings pack and super savings pack. In both of these, you will get a PDF access restricted Google Drive link. So very secured. So in savings pack, in just savings pack, you will get only 150 MCQs and the price is doubled. 300 rupees and whereas in the super savings pack the name itself tell you you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs that means all uh, double of 150 right 300 mcqs and the price is not doubled for 300 guys the price is less than double 500 rupees only that's why we are telling we are telling that it's super savings pack the price the mcqs are doubled but the price is not doubled and less price only you are getting 300 mcqs guys up to five members can use once you make payment of 500 guys so the topic coverage is also very high guys because you are getting more mcqs which is covered from more topics so 
so that's it and it's also easy to revise both of these uh, packs because due to pdf so this is the email id you have to mail me for i will give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section so now let's get back to the solutions so sixth one which of the following is true about the features of second generation uavs so for sixth question the answer is option a static design fixing camera mount still photography video recording and manual steering control so mark option a guys now moving on to the seventh question now seventh one what is the application or what are the application fields of uavs so for seventh question the answer is option d all of the above option d all of the above now moving on to the eighth question now eighth one which of the following does not does not represents an application of uav in agriculture so for eighth question the correct answer is option c inspect construction site infrastructure and construct roadway so it doesn't come under the category of agriculture so mark option c guys option c now moving on to the ninth question state true or false precision forestry and canopy mapping cannot be performed through the application of uav in forestry so for ninth question the statement is absolutely false guys option b false because canopy mapping can be performed but they are uh, they have given cannot be map, uh, performed so it, the answer is false it's a false statement so mark option b now moving on to the 10th question 10th one which of the following does not does not represents the application of uavs for energy management so for 10th question the correct answer is option a guys optimized use of seed fertilizer and water so these are not related to energy management right this could be related to agriculture right so the answer is option a guys next moving on to the 11th one 11th question state true or false one of the applications of uavs in telecommunication is to perform tower inspection so is that true or false so the answer is absolutely option a true so mark option a next moving on to the 12th question so in the 12th question even if you uh, you are not sure about the concept you can easily match because if you see here mining mining if you keep this aside for some time if you see the second one healthcare so you can directly related to third one right De delivery of medicines vaccine and snake bite serum and oh, if you see the third one forestry it's directly related to fourth one because display information about the forest here the word forest exists right so about the forest species so directly you can say second one is related to third one and third one related to fourth one 
so the this is available in option b only so mark for 12th question option b is correct answer next moving on to the 13th question so 13th one what are the applications of uavs in oil and gas industries so for 13th question the correct answer is option d all of the above so let me erase this so the answer is option d all of the above next moving on to the 14th question so before getting into this 14th question i want to once again uh, make a small announcement so these are the pdf mcqs other than this there is also another pack available it is youtube membership here you will get 100 plus mcqs for just 119 rupees only it is available only in video format it is only for one person and for one month only so video format 100 plus mcqs for only one person and 119 rupees so if you want to access this no need to message me you can directly go to our channel page so you can type s kumar edu in the search box our channel will appear like this with this logo so here you can see that iot 4.0 part 2 video and part 1 video also available here but is only for members members only tag is available here right and also other videos so if you want to access all of these videos for single price 119 rupees just go to our channel page like this and click on join button here beside the subscribe button okay. join button right so click on that and a tab will appear like this only select 119 per month package then only you will get access for that and later click on this blue color join button and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all the subject videos not only one subject you'll get all these videos for the same 119 price only if you want preparing for multiple subjects you can try this pack but if you are preparing only for one subject and if you want in-depth content then it's better to take this 300 mcqs super savings pack because in one subject only you are getting deeper level questions right in order to prepare well for the exam you can take this 300 mcq pack for the final exam better practice already many students have taken this case so this is the email id you have to mail me for pdfs and for an, uh, exam preparation preparation video format no need to message me you can go to channel page and subscribe uh, join the channel now let's get back to the solutions so 14th question state true or false or oh, they have given a statement uav based light displays are generally more expensive than traditional firework displays and cannot be reused they have given the word expensive more expensive so it is not the correct one so false is the answer so for 14th one it is false option b and moving on to the final question of this assignment as well as for this course for this semester 15th one and the final one so which of the following are true about the necessity of case studies so the answer for 15th question is option a the case study investigates real life phenomena through a detailed analysis of related events so mark option A. So these are the solutions for final assignment of this course. So hope this video helpful for you. So that's it. Okay, goodbye.